I just been waiting, 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 waiting. As I said to you, when you hear that the bridegroom has come, the first thing you must think about is not just waiting. Am I dressed? Right? How do I look? Right? A woman, a lady is going out to somewhere and she asks, like, how do I look? I say, you look. Oh, let me tell you, you look, you look like a princess. Oh, I feel so good. Right? I said, but hold on. But David, now my, you, you don't look so right, man. Oh, you tired, said, said like that. Um, come, come here, come here, let me fix you, let me adjust your bike, and set your bike. And he packed it down and whatever and so forth, you know? And I used to go to school, my mother always tell me, you come, what do you have in your pocket? And she said, what's that thing bulging? Take it out, take it out. Pack the pants back, it must be flat, you know? And even though you wear khaki and whatever, she said, must, I was uh, still have the same look thing in my, until now. But you must have a certain look when you're going out of that house. And I'm trying to say, I didn't go to school, right? And so you grew up with that kind of thing. But I'm saying, put a lot of emphasis on how you look right now in this life. Put more emphasis on how you look when you go out to meet the bridegroom. Put more emphasis on that, right? Because this is more serious. This is more serious, right? Are you going to meet the bridegroom? And remember, we can't choose what we want to wear and what we're going to put on and what we're going to do. Because God already chose what He wants us to wear. And all you want from us is righteousness. Amen? So the time is at hand. The men of this world, you know, you know, when I think about them and the Lord speaks to them, they know they have no other way out. And there is nothing more for them to gain. Right? They're going to kill one another. But they're trying to stretch it out as much as they can. Because there is nothing else for them to gain. But we have eternal life. Okay? We have eternal life. And we have a God in heaven who is watching over us. Okay? And whatever they do, God will preserve us. And even if we die in this life, we know when the trumpet of the Lord shall sound, the dead shall rise in Christ and they'll be caught up to meet him in the skies. All right, let's sing this song. Ah uh -huh. 